What is up guys, we are back for some more next on Extinction and we're here to figure out what's the secret that Jen has hiding since they had the little fire typhoons uh, up. So we uh, found a way over here after fighting Atlanta. Atlanta used a warp stone to escape our clutches. A locked, why is there a house that's just locked here? Well, never mind. you, sh you should lock your doors, people. <laughs> I'm tripping. Okay, we got a battle there. I just like getting all this shiny stuff before I do like my battles for some odd reason. But we're gonna do this battle just to get some more EXP under our belt. I'm so pathetic, I hate myself. I came here to fight Jin, but I was so scared that I ran off and hid here. I want to be stronger, I need to be stronger. I want to hunt tyrants just like real guild tamers. You, you're one of them, aren't you? Would you mind teaching me how to fight? Watch you have like some pretty cool Yep, you have freaking Tantrum. I actually want one of these. I don't want to use a fire type, but I just want it just to have it. Shardream looks pretty nice. But I'm surprised you're common, because, like, the aesthetics for you just kind of tell me you should have been way stronger than what you are. Oh, bam. I need to start completing more side quests too. There was a quest I saw that would have gave me another like EXP booster to stack. So that's 9% of extra EXP. Wow, so that's how real tamers fight. Thank you, Blades. One day I'm gonna hunt tyrants left and right just like you guys watch me. I mean, I'm not really out here trying to hunt tyrants. It's just... They keep telling me to do it. It's not like a goal of mine. She gonna get herself killed fighting tyrants. Alrighty. Looks like we're making good progress where we need to be heading to. Whoa, what sort of place is this? For the love of Ulzar, this chamber. Can't you feel it, Blades? There's something dark in here. Ah, what is wrong with this place? I'm done with this dumpster. I'm out of here. You're just gonna leave? He's just gonna leave? I thought you were a gold tamer. I'm a gold tamer. Okay, so I thought they were gonna say more, but I guess not. Um. Who are you? You look dead. A thousand years ago, an ancient tyrant of fire set this miserable human world ablaze. His name was Fenrir, the third son of King Omnicron. Oh, we got Fenrir in here. And when a foolish human warrior defeated me, this place was built to enslave my spirit for millennia to come. A prison, a shrine, a ley line. But really, it's just a tomb. Oh, you're Fenrir. An ancient tyrant? You look just like a regular human to me. Save for the horns. The children of Omnicron were shapeshifters. That's all there is to it. Now, let me take a guess. You've come to borrow my elemental power, which lies buried deep within this tomb. And just like that old geezer called Jin, you're planning to use my power to hatch a tyrant egg. Is that correct? This must be it. The reason Jin blocked access to this place was to prevent more tyrants from being born. If we can hatch our own tyrant, we might be able to counter Jin. Right, and with those permissions, and with whose permission? I like Jin, that man has ambition and strength, but you? That brawn badge tells me a whole different story. Oh, he's hating on us. You want to use my power? Come and take them, kid. This must be one of the shrines Elisa talked about. If we can beat Fenrir, we could hatch our tyrant egg using his power. He's just a ghost, how hard could it be? Uh, I don't trust him when he says that. <laughs> Have you made up your mind, boy? I won't let any rookie t uh, human take my powers without a fight. Let's fight. Watch me be like, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to fight you. Let me go. All right, so what sort of Nexomon is Fenrir gonna use? I harbor no Nexomon slaves. But then, I will fight you myself, Blades. I may be but a shadow of my former self, but I reckon I still pack a punch. 
He better not just be ghost type just because he's a ghost. This ought to be amusing, Blades. Something in you reminds me of the man who slayed me a millennia ago. I hate it! Oh, he hates it. Emphasis on hate. Oh, snap. That's pretty nice art one. Oh, I am no ordinary tyrant. I am the son of Omnicron. For millennia have I sinned over his ashen world. For millennia have I repented in his granite tomb. A curse to be your kind, brethren of Olzar. The third son of Omnicron rises one last time. This one battle will be my redemption. Okay. And we don't know what level you are. I want to try to freeze. 24. And you're legendary. 32. Yikes. Uh, what else was good against... What else was good against this thing? <laughs> I think I'm gonna send out Falarnia. <laughs> wow. Okay, so fire is really good against wind. If I send out Wazer... Is there anything I... We have... We can try to get Frail on. And you miss. And you're burning. Okay. Well, that just tells me I need to be restoring Croncho. The next question is just gonna be like, I wonder if I should have just switched to, um, if I should have switched to Hadeka and tried to get Leech on. But it did 63 just from being effective. I'm trying to get this freeze. I don't know why the freeze isn't proccing on it. This is some BS. Just give us the freeze. That's all I. That's all I want. <laughs> Let me see about getting rid of that burn too. Hopefully, it doesn't burn me like as soon as I get rid of it. Oh no! Instead, you decide to do a critical hit. Y'all tripping by not letting me get freeze. I'm not even gonna lie guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna revive Wazer because I need that EXP on on Wazer. Once it gets to 45, it should be game over once it evolves. Up and another burn. Flarnia is okay. Flarnia got taken out in one hit, so I'm kind of disappointed with that. There we go. How much was this? Oh, snap. Explosive water. Deals water type. Okay, 80 to 75% accuracy though. But I think it's, uh, we're not going to get rid of you. I guess Pummel, because I don't use Pummel. It has a 35% chance to inflict Confuse. Oh. Okay. Yeah, we'll uh, get rid of Screech. I don't even really see myself using Screech like that. This is how terrible, how terribly my body has decayed. Okay. I was like, this doesn't sound right, but it does. My days of rule are but a distant dream now. They sure are. 
Well, there it is. That's what you came here for, Blaze. That's the remainder of my power. Feed that energy onto your tyrant egg so that it may hatch. <laughs> I just take it like, yeah. <laughs> Nothing happened. I I don't believe it. Blades, this tyrant egg is like normal. Even after taking my power, it hungers for more. This thing might become an insanely powerful tyrant someday. Who the heck cares? It's still just an egg. We can't use it to defeat Jin and Mulsimer. We're done for. You can still harness the powers contained by this egg, Blades. The element of fire taken from me, for example, if you try really hard, you may be able to extinguish Jin's flames or set things ablaze if you're into that sort of thing. So we can use this egg to control fire. That that makes no sense. Go test it out with the flames in this room, if you don't believe me. You will fear Jin and most of them are no more thanks to this ability. Their threats are worthless now. What about the tyrant egg though? We really wanted to hatch it. Well, my power alone was not enough to hatch it. Perhaps if you find other shrines like this one, you can amass enough energy to make it happen. I don't know. Anyway, you got what you need to blades. Leave me alone now. You can now control fire. Look out for the red squares on the ground. They indicate areas that can be affected by our powers. Try it now with the flames in this room. Ah, look at that. All right, sweet. Thanks for the powers, buddy. Do I need to maybe, now I won't revive because I'm like, I can probably teleport somewhere, right? Jin's tyrant made those flames to stop us from finding Fenrir's tomb. We can extinguish them for a shortcut to the city. Yes, sir. Let's go. Oh, wow. We got rid of all three. Just in one click. <laughs> Alrighty. Now we're going to go heal. Because I'm not about to go confront him without healing up. Heal team. I'm really enjoying this game. This is like a great pick to play. Now I'm trying to think of like my next RPG to play now. <laughs> I see that you're back, Blades, and you let Navala's presence still reeks in the air. Explain. Y you dare challenge me even after I threatened to destroy this city? Have you forgotten about my invincible tyrant? <laughs> Will you listen to reason now, child? Blades, use the tyrant egg. Tyrant egg? What nonsense are you talking about? Yeah, why would you yell it, Coco? Like, what the heck? It's a secret. You found the tomb, didn't you? But how? Mulsimer. Eliminate Blades immediately. He is hatching a tyrant. Ah. The fact that everybody's just out here yelling. He's hatching a tyrant. Like, mess him up, please. Explosive water, let's see if we'll hit. Because I wish we just had something faster. A faster move on Croncho. Okay, uh... We're gonna switch you over to, um, Sikabob. Hopefully I can get the bound on. Yeah! Okay. Yeah, I was like, where's, why aren't you inflicting the damage? <laughs> so grass is good against electric. I'm pretty sure like none of us are really surprised by that. <laughs> grass. Okay. We're going to switch back to Croncho. Oh, sweet. You missed. See, this is what uh, Tantra evolves into grass. And that's why I want it. Grath looks so freaking cool. Can we get a freeze part? Oh, we might. The Cena. Ooh, we got stunned on that. Let's go back to Hideka. Cause yeah, I was like, just in case you're doing like these switch outs, let me try and get Leech on.
Oh. I, like, Loki got caught up in the fight and forgot about, um, <laughs> Balsamer. Am I not gonna get this leech proc? Is it because I already had it activate that it won't proc on it? See, and it, okay, so leech goes away once you do switch outs. That's kind of good to know. I didn't know that. I can't use glare on you? Oh, that's BS. Let me just get a leech on you, bro. Uh, we're still we're still not proccing it. <laughs> Can you even do status inflictions on um on legendaries? Maybe that's why. Maybe you can't even proc it. We're gonna heal up uh, Rancho too, just for when I need to do a switch. Yeah, I, I just I think maybe you just can't inflict status stuff on on legendaries. That was close. Okay, so that was 800 for Crunch. Oh, wow. I'm amazed. That was a lot of EXP. Now it's like, I don't think I want to change up my, my water, my water next a lot. Ah. So you possess a tyrant egg. Do you aim to conquer this world too? If, if I cannot win then, then I will flip with this city. Mulsimer, destroy everything. Yeah, why you gotta destroy everything though? Ooh. Things don't really look like they're being destroyed though. Not so fast, Jin. Okay. My little Cyclops over here. Deep underground, did you did you cower from my sight? Such a grand effort to escape my drakes. And yet here I lie to end you and your hideous tyrant. Hideous tyrant. But who are you? Renegade Lydia, it can't be. M Mulsimer, don't let her get near me. Relying on your tyrant so soon, coward. Fine then, do your worst. The hunt is on. Oh snap! Okay, she she did her thing right there. Wait, 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 wait! Wrecking the city? What were you thinking, Jin? You and your tyrant ought to pay. Are you are you gonna call your tyrant? Are you gonna summon Eurus? I don't need Eurus to deal with a second grade tyrant like yours. Be gone. Okay, so she has her own tyrant and she uses it for good. But it is it wit? Or no, that's her own sword slash hell. Uh -huh. She's suffocating him? Or she's just blowing him away? Okay. I guess that works. Fear me not. I am an ally of the guild. Despite owning a tyrant myself. Yes, I own a tyrant called Eurus, but I am also the master of all dragons that scour this world. Everything that you just said is profoundly disturbing. You're way too powerful. Like, what? <laughs> I've heard terrible things about my dragons lately, but I assure you that they are truly harmless against humans. Yeah, no. Those dumb lizards attacked us twice already. Uh, we just... A drake sigil? Okay, what is... Pay me a visit, then. Come to the drake isles and I will prove to you how friendly my dragons really are. Use this sigil to gain access to my village. That sounds exactly like a trap. Amalai can vouch for me when you claim your reward for this quest. Farewell, friends. I look forward to your visit. Okay. Okay. We did it, Blades. We finally defeated a tyrant. It was actually Lydia, but nobody needs to know that. 
Let's go to the guild and claim our reward. I bet it's a huge. Yeah, I hope so. Oh, and we got someone here for a quest. A terrible fate has befallen my beautiful city. Such destruction, this has cost a fortune to repair. I guess it's time to put those taxes to work. Ha! <laughs> wow. <laughs> my goodness, you're a funny lad. What? Listen up, Blades. Renegade Jin sent many, many tamers after Atlanta. Not just you. A couple of them have not returned. Since I'm too busy doing nothing, I want you to go find them. That sounds bad, but we don't have any leads. Go check in the west, since that's where Atlanta was hiding. If you save those tamers, they'll surely reward you. Why don't you reward us for saving your tamers? <laughs> Boy, you're killing me with these jokes. Good luck and all that. What's the reward? Protection core, immunity core. This might come in handy. Uh, but we're going to see about claiming that pri uh, the reward. Oh, man. Another person would start. What a mess. It'll take ages before Ignitia gets back on its feet. I know that you've already done a lot for the city, but would you mind bringing in some essential supplies? You'll be rewarded, though. I have nice elemental whistles that tamers like you collect all the time. You have one whistle. You got no idea how helpful you've been, buddy. Amalize Guild is awesome. If you guys are wondering what this person is for, they're for, like, relearning moves to your next summon. Alrighty, let's uh, return. Cause uh, where's the, what was this place called? Yeah, Desert Outpost. I'm pretty sure that's where we have to go to claim the reward. Oh, excuse me, are you Blades? Yes, yes, I believe that you came to claim the reward for saving the city of Nixia, yes? And I better rank up with this, you better put me at silver rank. Your reward is for this quest is rather special, sir. It's not something that we can bestow in our humble desert outpost. Please go to the guild headquarters in the capital instead. Sorry for the inconvenience. Yeah, we're getting, we're getting our rank up. But while I'm here, let me... I, I realize I need to really try to keep the team leveled up better, too. So, I'll do that later, actually. Alright, let's go up here and see about getting this promotion. Well, what do you guys have to say? If you dream of becoming a Grandmaster, you better start building up that reputation. There's a clerk in the guild building who can explain more about it. I don't know about reputation. I was wondering about that, too, so... I'm most likely going to talk to someone in here uh, after this video to figure out how reputation works because it has to deal with all these side quests like those blue stars that I'm completing. Well, well, Blades, we've been expecting you. The guild has heard of your latest adventure. You survived a dragon attack and then freed a city by defeating a tyrant all on your own, didn't you? This is absolutely not the deed of a mere bronze tamer. Blades, from this day onwards, you shall carry a silver badge with pride. Congratulations. A most valiant performance, Blades. You are destined to greatness. Whoa, that's two tyrants that you face now. That's amazing. Well done, kid. Keep up the good work and perhaps we will fight side by side one day. Yeah, who, who are you? Not too shabby, Blades. You were meant for this. Squad, we just ranked up. Are you going to do that every time you get promoted? Yes. Yes, I am, Coco. <laughs> I'm going to be super excited each time I rank up. I'd like to hear what happened down there, Blades. Would you mind coming with me? I mean, I guess I kind of wanted to see what all I could do and buy as a silver tamer. Oh, I could probably get better Nexo traps now. I see. So you met Lydia, renegade of wind and master of the Drake Isles, and she wants you to meet her dragons? Sure, why not? Go and have fun, Blades. Are you insane that woman has a tyrant and dragons? All the bad things that happen to us are because of tyrants or dragons. Lydia is our ally, and as I said, dragons do not attack humans. You just happen to be in the way. Twice. She has this weird obsession with hunting evil renegades like Jin or Atlanta. I really like her. Hold on, if Lydia has both a tyrant and dragons, how does she keep them from fighting each other? Jeez, I wasn't expecting a good question from Ross. I was about to explain, like, 
asked that question too. Just answer me, aren't they like natural enemies? Lydia is a very, very bizarre case. You'll want to ask her yourselves. I guess a trip to the Drake Isles would be a nice break. We might even catch some dragons for ourselves. It is a wonderful experience that you have earned. Thanks. I was talking to Blades. Oh, shut up, Emily. The airship hangar is to the northeast. Have fun, kids. I wonder if I can go back to that tree and see about getting another quest now. Alrighty, guys. But with that said, I'm in this episode off here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We took down Jin and his uh, tyrant. We met Lydia, and now we know that Lydia controls a tyrant, and she pretty much controls all the drakes. So this is going to be interesting for the next episode to come. But with that said, make sure you leave a like for the video. Helps out the video a lot. Also, subscribe to my channel. Helps out the channel a lot. Let's me know that you like the content that you're seeing. But with that said, guys, take it easy. Stay sharp. Later.